They lined up all the way around the corner at Southwest 17th and Jefferson. Sunday at 11 a.m., Blue Star brought its gourmet donuts to the Goose Hollow neighborhood. We are more than welcome to go in. We are ready. And opened its doors, offering free donuts for their grand opening. Started in 2012, at its height, Portland's Blue Star had nine shops and 100 employees. The pandemic nearly ended all of that. In fact, the company had to declare bankruptcy and reorganize. And so today... It's emotional. I'm just really grateful. I just... I really appreciate, again, like I said, people, our fans in our community showing up when we needed it the most. Co-founder Katie Pope has some Thank new you. investors, but Thank is you. still in charge. She says the pandemic has been so tough on so many food-related businesses. The only silver lining for Blue Star, they found a way to develop their wholesale business. So now we're in um, the Northwest, up in Seattle, over 40 grocery stores and wholesale partners. And that's been a really important, you know, new line of business for us that we plan to expand all through the West Coast. But Sunday was all about the people in this line. Can't pass up a donut, so. <laughs> people like Kira and Adam Billick and their two little boys. What do you think about free donuts? <laughs> Did you come from near or far? Uh, no, we live in Portland. Uh, we Laurelhurst neighborhood. Follow them on Instagram eaten their donuts for years, so. Excited to see them back here. Yeah. Following COVID protocols, Blue Star slowly worked its way through the crowd. This location is the former home of the Oregon Culinary Institute, which did not survive the pandemic. Some of our current and former staff went to school here, and we want to honor that. And it looks like the move here is paying off. The neighborhood has been awesome. They've just, from day one, when are you going to open? When are you going to open? You know, and then this turnout here, this is fantastic. Tim Gordon. We're so happy to be here. KGW News.